Uh, hi, Frederick. Hi. Could you explain what's going on with it behind me and with this, uh, this, this painting, this work over there? I've created a work called Klimt's Magic Garden and what I've done is, with a, a team in Vienna, is taken a digital file of here, which is the cartoon that Klimt Ooh. made for the s frescoes inside the Villa Stockley and they were cut up into all different pieces and all of this has been put together inside a story world um, to create what I call a magic garden. Um, so it's an experience that is really important and it's the first time in Belgium that you're able to see this here at the Bazaar. You, I think you said it was like being in Alice in Wonderland. Exactly. This is a kind of a wonderland except it's not Alice's, it's the one that Klimt created and then the idea is not okay. to just see the experience of the magic garden but come back to see Klimt and see where we got this from so it's a kind of a dialectical process so it's an open form of art in which I in a usual way I make films I've been doing it for 20 years I can control what you see when you see my film you only see what I and the editor what we decide you should see no here it's different because it's a garden and you take whatever path you want you take the time you want and so what I control is the possibility of your gaze not the gaze yourself and that's a new form of art that's what interactive art can do what really excites me about this is that as I say I spent 20 years making films within a frame suddenly we don't have a frame anymore I find that really exciting and we are it's like being five years after the you know the, the first performance or film by the Lumiere brothers and what for me the essential question is is where can this be its own unique experience that mixture so that's why in this work you have things that move interactivity you have sound you have light changing you have things that are paintings you have the interactivity of a garden but you also have performance which you have in theater and you have the visuals and the story which you have in film but this is a hybrid it's a it's a bastard it's a mixture a conglomerate of all of those things and I'm trying as quickly as possible to find that sweet spot where we go like we went it took time to go from film to cinema for us to go from this virtual reality into virtual reality art of its own sort of forms so my philosophy is slow VR like slow food everybody should have a good experience everyone should go at their own time and at their own pace children run through it children love it I would say only from the age of five not under five but after that they love it it's stimulating creativity you know and that's what I see as a, as a kind of a crucial thing that this is not some you know some people say oh digital is terrible and it takes people away from art and they get lost in it no it's about having that experience and then come back into the real world and see that in a different way and that's my very much my philosophy of that thank you very much okay